Hi guys and welcome to your collective tarot love messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look at and see who is the universe sending into your life next. So we're not just going to take a look and see who's going to be your next brief encounter or perhaps even your next fling. We want to take a look and see who is going to be your next major relationship with, okay? Who is it that you're potentially going to end up with, settle down with, and um, may maybe even build a life with this person, okay? So who is it that you're going to ride off into the sunset with Disney style? There is going to be a part two to this reading, guys, and in part two, we're going to follow on with those messages um, in more depth and in, and in more detail, and part two will be made available to you all via the extension link below, just where the show more uh, box is. Also, I do offer, offer personalized tarot readings, guys, so if you're, off, uh, if you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out. My email address is also going to be listed there as well. I also want to mention a special thank you to Marina at Rose Forever. She's been kind enough to send me these beautiful bouquet of roses that do smell absolutely divine. So Rose Forever is a New York based uh, company and the brand has launched back in 2019. Rose Forever do design some luxurious roses that, um, that are all natural and they do keep for up to a year. Now all of their bouquets are freshly hand-picked. They do also use natural oils to preserve of the roses and um, all the designs here are handcrafted guys and um, by professional uh, flower artisans and all the materials that they use for the boxes are vegan um, they do have a, an enormous choice of colors and boxes um, different shapes sizes and materials to choose from so um, do hop onto their website I will include um, the all the information that you need below I will also feature a, um, a special discount code uh, for you guys to use should you want to buy um, a bouquet of roses for yourself or perhaps um, a friend or a loved one the coupon code is going to be valid for 30 days here guys uh, once the video is posted and i will uh, drop all that information in the description box i'll drop the link and all the information that you need along with that uh, 20 dollars discount code which you can um, put towards uh, any order here okay so having said all of that guys thanks again um, and good luck to the guys as to the guys at Rose Forever. Absolutely beautiful roses. Now let's go ahead and get stuck into the reading. So we want to take a look and see who is the universe going to send into your life next. So perhaps um, what is it that they'll look like? Um, let's see what details and information the cards reveal to us. Okay, so all we have so far. What I get very strongly is that the universe is going to be uh, sending you this special person and sending you this special uh, love connection when you are ready to face the past or when you are ready to move on uh, from the past. So the you know the death side. The death card here alongside the six of swords here. This is a strong indication of a readiness to finally face the past. So past hurt, past wounds, past resentment. It's of course not going to be an easy, um, an easy task, but it is something that, um, it is something that will happen or, you know, it needs to happen when the time is right. So if, you know, it's all, it's an energy of this, this is all about like cluttering, uh, decluttering rather, not cluttering, you know, clearing out the clutter, preparing room for this person to come into your life um, and preparing room um, and space in your life for all the, you know, for all the wonderful things um, 
and uh, that this person is going to bring into your life for all the joy, the happiness, um, you know, for all the manifestation as well. You'll notice that when you'll start removing yourself from the past, walking away from the past, making room in your life um, for this person here, by facing the past, you're going to finally understand you know, what belongs to you and what needs to be let go of. Because there may be something that you're still holding on to. And if some of you feel like you are ready for this special person to come into your life, you are ready for, you know, true love, you are ready for um, commitment to settle down, perhaps even marriage. Um, what's, not that it's blocking you, but I feel like what's stopping this person from coming into your life or what's really delaying the process is the fact that you need to, uh, you need to understand that although the universe is ready to send this person into your life, you're not ready to, you think you're ready, but you're not ready to welcome this person because you don't have room in your life for this individual, okay? Uh, you want to, you absolutely want to, but some of you are not consciously aware that you're still holding on to maybe, you know, old excess or you're still holding on to old feelings um, or, or even old ways of doing things that are no longer serving you. They may have worked for you um, at some point in time, but this is something that needs to be let go of. Your encounter with this person, look, for some of you, it may have already happened. This person is in your life. It, you might not be in a relationship with this person just yet but you've already attracted this person you've already manifested this person into your life and there may not be a it, a lot hasn't happened with this connection just yet because um you still have you know you still have some things to do here with the past um as we spoke about earlier in in the video um but Meeting this person is not just going to be coincidental, okay? So if you haven't met this person just yet, it is not going to be a, a coincidence. You're going to have to pay attention to all the little signs that you will get around this person uh, once you meet them. Or, um, or maybe you guys already know who this person is, and especially if you're getting a lot of um, little signs that you've been paying attention to, a lot of synchronicities, this is a really good and a very strong indicator that this is, you know, someone that the universe has sent into your life specifically for you. Um, and the funny thing is, all of these little signs will start happening um, very frequently and it will have a lot to do with this person. It will have a lot to do with um, the connection as well. Um, now, how do you know that this is going that this person is going to be the one? How do you know that this person is destined for you? Um, first and foremost, it definitely there will be a very intense vibration from what I can see between you and this individual. Um, it's it's kind of I guess I can liken this intensity back to you know being a teenager and finding true love. Um, This person is going to come into your life and from what I can see it's it's going to be it's going to be a very powerful and a very transformative connection because what they're going to do to you is they're going to unveil um not only like the deepest desires, okay, so your deepest desires, your deepest desires for true love, um, you know, for commitment, for security and stability, um, they're going to come into your life, but also unveil um, some of the darker aspects of you, okay, of your personality and some of the darker aspects of um, maybe even help you embrace some of your flaws and some of your insecurities. Um, your life, I feel like, Maybe even like your life's purpose or I feel like a lot of things are going to, um, you're going to find more meaning in a lot of the things that you do, okay? Um, and I feel like this person will have something to do with that. They will come into your life and they will suddenly make things look beautiful again, okay? Or they will suddenly make, um, they will suddenly make, like, awaken a lot of new and foreign and exciting feelings uh, within you. Your connection with this individual, your connection with this person is going to feel intense. I also feel like there's, um, I feel like there's past ties to this individual uh, and that could be explained due to the fact that this is a soulmate connection. Therefore, you have had history with this person, okay? Uh, maybe not in this lifetime, maybe in a previous lifetime and you guys have a soul contract with one another. You know, you, you're bound to each other and you have, um, 
you have agreed to meet each other meet each other once again uh you know maybe in the next lifetime or in this lifetime um, but what this uh, what this connection will feel like um, is unlike any other this is someone that you're going to develop a very deep and a very intimate bond and a very intimate connection with this person um, this person is also going to understand you they're going to grow to understand you and you'll never you've never felt understood by um, you've never felt understood by anyone so deeply and this is someone who's going to be such a huge support system for you as well it could also be I feel like there could also be a calm, this person could be a karmic soulmate. So someone who is going to come and help you grow and help you evolve. Someone who is going to also improve your karma. Remember when we spoke about making your life beautiful again. So improving your karma um, through some very positive, but it's also negative interactions, okay? Because that's how you're going to grow. That's how you're going to get better. That's how you're going to improve as well. It's with this individual, it's going to feel like you've almost like you've known this individual your whole lifetime or like you've been waiting for someone your whole lifetime for someone and something just like this. There's going to be this instant pull that neither you or your person can deny. OK, so this chemistry that cannot possibly be explained um, or can't be denied here and um sparks are just going to fly okay whether you like to admit to it or not sparks will fly or if you've already met this individual i'm sure you can relate to some of these things and it's this remember how i spoke about the intensity of this connection this is something that's not going to dissolve it's not going to go away doesn't matter how long you've known this person for or how little you've known this person for um this isn't something that is that intensity it's not going to go away. When you cross paths with this person, it is going to be, a, you know, from day dot, it's going to be a very transformative experience because this person is here. Um, they're going to challenge you. It could, it could also be a twin flame connection for some of you, okay? So a karmic soulmate, a soul partner, a soul-based connection, um, a twin flame connection, um, you know, a companion soulmate. Um, it does feel very powerful and does feel very special, but you know this, this individual he, he or she is going to challenge you so don't think it's all going to be rosy okay because that's not how people grow that's you know they need to be challenged um they need to be taught so this is someone who's going to challenge you to teach you um you're both going to do this to this you know this to each other because you're going to help each other grow in so many powerful ways you'll feel it okay i feel like one of the um the biggest indicators is just that feeling, that knowing, that certainty here. It's like you, you'll feel like you've all, it's like you've met them before, okay? And maybe you have in a different lifetime. Um, it's just this, you'll feel as though, you'll feel this instant soul connection. You'll deep, deep down, you'll feel this spiritual connection that even though you might not be able to explain it, you'll be able to feel it and you'll be able to understand it. You'll also feel like, it's like your soul is pulling them towards you. Your soul is driving them towards you here. Your timing is going to be perfect as well. And I think timing will be one of the biggest um, issues in the both of you crossing paths. Or even if you've already crossed paths with this person and it hasn't happened just yet. It's because the timing, guys, the timing will need to be perfect. Okay, so you'll he or she will enter your life when you need them most, okay? Not when you want them the most, because there's a difference between wanting something and or someone and needing them, okay? So everything will happen when it's meant to happen, okay? And I know some of you are probably impatient and you're saying, well, you know, it's taking forever to happen. That's because maybe there are some lessons you haven't learned yet. Maybe there are some flaws or insecurities, you know, the darker or shadow aspects of yourself that you haven't embraced yet. Take a closer look and see, you know, what you could be doing differently or what you could be doing to improve on yourself um, or just moving forward here. So everything has timing, um, including when you're going to meet this person and including when this connection is going to take off. So this is a, um, you know, this is a very powerful and a very important connection and it's going to and because it's meant to be it'll happen when it's meant to happen um it'll also happen at a point in your t time when you're finally going to be ready okay you're finally going to realize that you're ready for something that you're ready for 
you know, commitment or you're ready for security, you're ready for stability or you're ready for something, you know, um, or when you want a partner to come into your life, not necessarily to complete your complete things, but you feel like you have space in your life for this individual and for this person. So readiness is going to be a huge thing. Um, and it's like, you'll even say to yourself, gosh, the timing couldn't have been more perfect. That's what you'll even say. Um, or they might even mention that to you. You're also going to connect with each other instantly, guys. Okay, so there'll be that instant connection. Even though you might be meeting them for the first time, you're going to be speaking to each other almost as if like you've known each other for so long. Like you're, you're good pals. You have mates here. So uh, you're both... It's this magic in the air. You're going to feel this magic. Um, and it's it's this... The best way of describing it is this instant manifestation of everything you've ever wanted happening to you, happening for you, and happening all at once. So um, I, from what I'm seeing as well, you guys are just, again, you know, just circling back to the whole... No one understood you. No one has ever understood you the way that this person is going to understand you and accept you. And it's just like, to me, it feels like your conversations with this person are going to be endless. You guys will just have so much um, things to talk about. There's so much, um, you'll, there's a lot of compatibility there, emotional and mental. Um, and I feel like this person just gets you. They understand you. They get your jokes. Like, you know, they get your little quirks. They get what you're about here. I'm also seeing that this is just, um, like, you're going to be finishing off each other's sentences. You guys are both going to be laughing at the same things. Like, it's just, I guess the best word I could use is familiarity. You're so familiar with each other, even if you just just recently met or even if you guys will meet you know upon your first encounter you'll feel so comfortable around one another you'll feel so familiar um, and you're both going to want to there'll be times where you're so comfortable with each other that you won't even need to talk okay so it's like you both understand each other's body language you both understand each other's auras you're both understanding each other's energy and you're both responding to that it's a beautiful kind of a connection um it's like you, you'll look at this person and you'll know exactly what they're thinking or what they're wishing for. I know it sounds weird, but once you're in it, you'll know exactly what it's all about. Um, everything that they do or they say or everything around them just feels like it's magic as well. So, you know, even like with their hugs, um, they'll melt all your worries away. It just... It's a much more peaceful energy, okay? Uh, and this is very different because this person is... You know, you've had you've had special connections in the past. You've had you've had some very profound and instrumental connections in the past. But this is, is this is very different in the sense that it's just a much more peaceful world, a much more peaceful environment when this individual is around. Um, pay attention to how someone makes you feel, because that's a really good indicator of you know whether someone or something is good for you or not. Um, because we have swords here that have shown up a few times, I also want to see that, I also want to mention that there is going to be a bit of pain here in this connection. Um, but it, it's it's transformative. It's like someone that you're going to really open yourself up with and share some very personal and very intimate experiences in the past. This person is he. they have a healing quality and this is someone whom uh, they understand you, how you feel. Um, They also will want to heal your pain, okay? And this person is going to feel your pain um, and they're going to want to be a healing quality for you. So they're going to want to, you know, I feel like they'll, like you'll, they'll see your open and raw wounds and they're going to want to nurture those wounds and heal those wounds for you. They'll want to learn everything about you. So it's a connection that's so, um, I guess it's, it's entrenched in so many things here. <laughs> different personalities, totally different personalities, but so similar in so many ways as well. It's almost like the irony is, is almost like your polar opposites in so in so many ways, but in more ways than one. But it feels like you're also 
Um, like one of you might like jazz music, whereas the other likes pop music uh, or rock music. Um, but you, you guys are different, but so similar that that's what makes that will that's exactly what's going to make you fall for one another. Um, I also I'm also seeing a lot of empathy in this person's nature, a lot of empathy, a lot of kindness, a lot of compassion, a lot of wisdom, um, spirituality, a lot of understanding, and I think that's what's going to connect you. I think that those you're going to connect over those qualities before the romance actually happens. Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit more about this person, perhaps maybe even how they look. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Cups again, which is about walking away from the past. Um, I also feel like it's a message not only to you, but to your person as well. Okay, so if they haven't, you know, if they haven't come into your life just yet, if you haven't crossed paths with this individual just yet, um, maybe you've done all the work. Maybe you've done all the shadow work, the inner work, and maybe you're as good as gold. You're ready. But maybe it's the, your person here that has to, you know, deal with um, issues from the past. Heal past wounds. Heal past trauma. Let go of the past. Remove um, anything from their lives that no longer serves them positively. Okay, maybe it's them that needs to do the work. But the Eight of Cups is definitely, you know, um, walking away. Walking away, turning your back on... Um, you know, not anything that no longer serves you, okay, because staying in it would mean that you'd be shrinking yourself to fit in into something that you simply outgrew a long time ago. Okay, so some of you, I think, are really getting impatient from what I can see. I feel like some of you are really, um... Nine of Swords energy. I mean, you're really, you're worried. You're worried that this isn't happening soon enough for you. You're worried that it's not happening according to your plan, that, you know, um, it's not happening happening fast enough. The pacing is a little off. Your person is here to detour. They got lost. Um, there's a lot of um, anxious, nervous energy with the Nine of Swords, and it's not a good place to be. It could all, you could also have regrets from the past that consciously or subconsciously are somehow interrupting this uh, process from happening, or somehow, you know, interrupting this manifestation um, or the magic of it all. You, you know, whatever is in the past, if there is anything from the past that still haunts you, you need to confront that pain. And there is. I think pain is absolutely huge. Um, it's it's a very sh uh, strong theme. That's for some reason I'm picking up very strongly here, and it's about you know healing the pain, um, letting go of the pain, not letting the pain consume you. Because the weight of regret can be a very heavy burden um, to carry. So if and that could be what's holding you. That what's holding you back. That that could very well be what's keeping this the universe from sending this person into your life um and it's also you're being scared because you've you've experienced for some of you i feel like you've experienced a lot of pain in the past and i mean look at that nine and ten wow okay you've experienced a lot of pain in the past and it's It's made you a little different. It's made you um, a little bit more, you know, suspicious. It's made you um, a little bit more guarded, a little bit more closed off, a little bit more emotionally reserved. And, you know, it's you've walled yourself off. And I think you're scared. I feel like this person is in your life. For some of you, this person is in your life already. But I think you've walled yourself off so much that, you know, here they are. They're offering them their gift of chalice to you that you know they want to open themselves up to you they want to be vulnerable with you they want to love you here but you're scared you're scared to fall in love or you're scared to love um, because you've loved in the past and as a result you got hurt and you don't want to have to experience those emotional experiences all over again because it's hurt you and it's made you yeah it's made you it's made you wall yourself off to to this person or to even relationships in the past but what's so special about this person and what's so special about this connection? This person is here to help you take all that pain away, okay? They're here to 
help you heal the pain they're here to help you heal the trauma uh, the emotional trauma you know to help you heal your wounds uh, this is someone who wants to uh, who wants to do that who wants to be able to do that for you I also feel like you have to, there's some acceptance here that you have to come to terms with and it's that, you know, pain has absolutely been a necessary um, or a huge, it's played a huge role in helping you grow, okay, and it's, it, it, it absolutely, you know, all, all the heartbreaks and, the, um, you know, the emotional experiences that you've endured have made you the person that you are today and have, you know, it's provided a valuable opportunity for you to grow, Um this person is, you know, this person comes into your life and they offer you the, the, the Ace of Cups here, okay? It's up to you whether you want to fill that chalice with love or whether you want to fill it with fear. And that's, that's very powerful because you do have that choice, okay? You've got that choice. Um, th there is something, you know, I feel like something very beautiful can come from this. Um, it will be very... It will be very healing. It, it can be. It will be very wonderful. It will be very powerful. Um, it can. It will be very uncomfortable at times. But I think it's just that, you know, it's that realization. And you know, look at look at the pain that you've had as a point for growth. Um. So this person, you know, is going to come into your life and is going to open up. Is going to ask you a lot of questions and you're really going to open yourself up to this person is going to open up a lot of questions about the future and what that might look like with this individual and when you're with them everything you're going to feel safe and secure so much so that you're going to build a safe space with this person and um, in which you're going to want to be vulnerable with them okay so don't wall yourself off to this person don't wall yourself off to this opportunity because i feel like um i feel like you're going to miss out on a very um on a very wonderful thing here okay you don't want to lose a connection with someone because you're still holding on to the past or you're you know you're still holding on to um you're still connected to your memories here it's some of you have been so comfortable in your sadness you've been so, so comfortable in your staying in your sadness staying in your pain that you've not allowed for that pain to transcend you you've not allowed for that pain to you know move you into a new chapter and i think when this person comes into your life that's what they're here to do for you they're here to pull you out, you know, pull you out from this sadness, pull you out from this discomfort and from your pain. Um, you need to meet this person, not only for connection, but I think also for growth and for healing, okay? And I think you're going to do the same for this person, okay? Because the Ten of Cups here, this is you getting that happily ever after. This is the rainbow, uh, you know, at the end of a storm. So if you've been through your storm or if you're still going through your storm, you have to go through it, okay? You have to go through, you know, the tunnel to get to the at, at the end of it to get to the light you have to um you know grow through it to go through it guys so understand that you know the broken heart that you've had in the past or understand that there's been meaning to your pain here because this person is going to come into your life and help and help you see that honestly that they're going to help you turn it into something that's going to help you grow and expand especially in your ability to love this person your ability to love people and things around you as well you've had to go through some of these emotions of shock of denial of hurt of embarrassment of you know whatever it is that you've gone through you had to go through all of that to reach that peace to reach that period of you know peacefulness of happiness um so this person comes into your life and I feel like you, you suddenly find a higher meaning. And I think ultimately they'll help you change your perspective on your story or they will help you find meaning from everything that you've gone through. And they help you, they'll help you take control of things, of, of your life here and you know, of your life's journey. Um, you're going to realize just how, of a powerful, how much of a powerful effect this person has already had on you, okay? Um... 
and it's like I, I I see you approaching life from a very different angle, from a very different perspective after having met this person as well. And I think for some of you, I opened up this reading talking about, you know, letting go, letting go of um, the past, letting go of the broken pieces of your heart, um, letting go of anything that, you know, that has hurt you. Because for, for, for so long you've been holding on to that pain and you've kind of stonewalled yourself off from relationships and from, you know, romantic prospects. Um, and, and I get that, and I get that. But at the same time, you know, you've deprived yourself of... Um, you know love and you've deprived yourself of um you know companionship and um relationships but i think and that, look there's nothing wrong with taking the time however time is necessary for you to process your pain so you did what you had to do even if it meant stonewalling yourself off you need to understand there's absolutely nothing wrong with the process okay but i think for some of you i also feel like this person is going to come into your life and is going to help you learn to let go it's going to help help you you know, pick up the broken pieces and put it all back together again. Um, it's going to help you to release the past, release um, what you're still holding on to. So um, I think, you know, this is someone who's going to come into your life and help you process their pain as well. And your story, once you do all of that, your story suddenly, because of them, your story is suddenly going to start looking a lot better, a whole lot different. Like it's just this different narrative um it, this person is going to change your story and your mindset all right guys i'm going to leave it at that in part two of the reading i just want to take a look at what he or she will look like um perhaps um any more detail you know um about around this person what they might look like uh how you might meet them where they're from just see how much more uh detail or description we can get of this around the special individual whether you know some of you have met this person or are still to meet this person um yeah we'll see what more the cards have to reveal to us about this individual um and about um your journey with this person so follow me to the extension reading below and that's going to be made available to you guys in uh part two via that extension link thank you guys so much for your time your energy and your attention bye for now